Well, the primary function of the lieutenant governor is to preside over the Senate. Uh, but as such, the lieutenant governor sets the agenda for the Senate, appoints members of committees, and generally is in charge of the orderly transaction of business. And the way I would do that is just by being fair and make sure that everybody gets an equal chance to be heard. I believe in a level playing field, and that begins would begin for me in the Senate. I've practiced that notion, that philosophy of making sure that everybody gets heard and there being a level playing field for my entire professional career. And I would just extend that to service as a lieutenant governor. I served a term and a half in the legislature. I was elected in a special election in the summer of 1973 to fill a vacancy that occurred when a sitting member of the legislature resigned to run for higher office. And I served for a year and a half, but it was in many ways it was like going home because I had been a lawyer, I'd been a judge, I'd been the director of a state agency, and I, I knew the landscape. I knew uh, the way that business was transacted, and in some ways it was much more fair and much more orderly uh, then than it is now, and much more in tune with the needs of Texans, of ordinary Texans, as opposed to large moneyed interest, which in those days seemed to have less influence than they do now. Uh, and we need to keep Texas moving forward, but we need to move forward with some of the lessons of yesterday uh, clearly in mind. And some of those lessons had to do with our founding as a, as a state. And where uh, a person was judged on his or her character, uh, how much work he or she could do in a day, and not the size of his or her bank account, or the, how much he or she paid for the suit that they're wearing. So there, there are some basic values, some basic Texas values that we need to get back to. I, I do think something can be done about the, the, the public perception of government as being deadlocked, because that's all, it's not only the perception, it's the reality. And I think something can be done about that, but it, it's going to involve an active citizenry. It's going to involve the public taking charge of its own business. Uh, the, the business of the legislature does not belong to the legislature. It belongs to the public. Just like the business of Congress belongs to the American people, so does the business of the Texas legislature belong to Texans. And we have to take, that, take back over our own government, our own democracy, because really that's what democracy is. It is the public running its own business and not the public's business being run by a few large moneyed interests. See, I think that we're at a cusp in, term, in, our, in our whole country. We're, we're at a cusp. We are uh, more and more of our small businesses are going away and their places are being taken by large moneyed interest and large corporations. That doesn't feel good to anybody. We can make Texas a safe haven for small businesses. We just can do that. That's possible. And we need to do that. We do not have to take our orders from some other uh, country or some other part of, the co of our country uh, that is running most of our business. We can do that just fine ourselves, but we're going to have to take the reins of power back uh, and we have to start with our government, with our legislature, and with our lieutenant governor's office and with the governor's office. That can no longer, they can no longer be in the service of large moneyed interests. It just doesn't work that way. Most of us are not large moneyed interests. And if most of us were, then democracy would be that large moneyed interests got taken care of. But as it is, it's not right, and it's not working, and we got to change it. That's why I'm running for lieutenant governor. I think that most of the people in Texas make their decision based on who they think is the best person for the job. Who they, they base it on character and integrity and who they think is just the best person for the job, be it man or woman or whoever. I certainly think that I can beat the incumbent. Uh, I think that people are, because the incumbent, stands for the status quo. And if there's one thing that my travels around Texas have shown me, 
is that people are sick to death of the status quo. We want to do the best we're capable of doing. We want to be the best that we can be. And the present lieutenant governor and the present governor and the present administration have absolutely displayed mediocrity as at its most intense. And we do not deserve, we deserve better than a mediocre leadership in the state of Texas.